Hello Libra. Hey, how are you? Welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot and I'm here with your divine tarot messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So welcome in all. I feel some of you have a strong connection to an Aries. So Aries is a fire sign. So let's get your love messages out today. Thank you so much for being here. If you are a subscriber, much gratitude to you, much love. And if you are new, hmm. <laughs> if you are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. All right. So we have Libra. This is your card. The swords, the air sign, fresh. I feel like a cold breeze could be blowing on you right now for true like something passing through some of you could be feeling because it did this is the card of destruction and force high vitality willpower strength going for what you need conquering taking charge right the knight of swords energy going through swiftly you know standing up for yourself <laughs> But I feel like some of you feel relaxed. Like I said, it's like a cold breeze just blew past my face. And maybe you're not, you're not hacking up yourself anymore about things. You're just learning to relax. Learning to relax, learning, to, learning how to not be so defensive. And maybe this is in your love connection. Some of you could be connected to a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person's energy is maybe they don't like with money maybe that is the issue in your relationship it's financial issues right now um okay maybe a person is holding on to their money hoarding wanting to invest wanting to i feel like they feel very grumpy about their money as if they feel like you're going to come in and just uh spend all of it so they're like, no, I'm not giving you any. Some of you, this could be the opposite for you in your energy, where you are feeling very energetic, very forceful, very demanding, commanding, very aggressive, wanting to stand up for what you believe in. So being aggressive is not always negative, okay? Being aggressive can be a good thing, going after your dreams, getting through, pushing through even when people tell you no. And this could be you going after your money. This is, this is you also leveling up your sense of value for yourself. Libra. Okay. Mm, some of you may want something new, may want to move into a new beginning, a new beginning in love. Some of you are thinking of a past connection here and I feel it could be with an earth sign or a water sign. So I want you to focus your intention. Libra on the decks of card here, going to be um, asking for your past energy, love, current energy, and future. So we're gonna see what's coming up. What is this energy of abrasiveness of, are some of you of, of just being humble, being modest, being decent, and this is your person's energy over here. Messages for Libra in love. Oh my gosh, messages for Libra. Wow. So this could be your person's energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the water sign. I, I mentioned the water sign earlier. Um, maybe you and your person are sort of on a break. Maybe your person is in contemplation mode. Wanting to really align with themselves in love. Knowing how to even give. I feel like this person is looking to make themselves more mature. Offer more mature energy so that they can offer that energy out to someone. Maybe there is conflict and this person is really realizing that there's sometimes the conflict is internal so they're taking this look at their heart space seeing how they can um, really understand more being more emotionally supportive even for themselves maybe truth is coming to light for this person maybe you oh my god so maybe you are speaking truth to your person you're like look i don't appreciate the way you do certain things and i'd like you to 
make a change or you know you're speaking up you're standing up for yourself and it's really causing your person to to want to match to come into this energy of maturity so this is loving nurturing fulfilling um being a, a parent a good parent a good wife a good husband you know motherly energy taking care of the home the business life just pure success abundance emotional fulfillment a happy life also being intelligent and intuitive graceful and kind seeking peace you know being in the flow of your life so i feel like definitely wanting so this as i said earlier too this could also be your energy and not your person's way we're, we're looking for to come into this energy of just being chill more mature letting go of the past right with that cold breeze blowing on your face as if you are maybe out in the ocean with the water card you hear and the sea breeze is just the ocean breeze is just blowing on you and you're feeling very connected to the divine any other oh i feel like you're definitely coming into some financial stability here all right this could be some of you are experiencing a lack of that in your past energy okay but something is coming up we'll see anything else here for libra in love some of you could be mothers i said that earlier yes parents beautiful just giving being nurturing i love that energy some of you i feel like there's something being released here old ways of thinking i feel like you're definitely looking or you're wanting to look your best inside out so that is that feeling i get even with a person's energy so this could definitely be your person's energy again with the jack of pentacles like they're really doing some self-examination and wanting to feel good inside out okay just emulating a sort of behavior that they believe will be beneficial for the whole so really taking that time to look in okay so with your past energy we have the ten of cups and the ten of cups is happy family celebration union a, a beautiful relationship a new beginning in love a new beginning in emotional satisfaction it's in the past position so i'm wondering if you are in um on a break with your person currently on a break and this could be due to financial interferences or insecurities your current energy is something um things are happening fast things are manifesting fast i feel there's a lot of passion and desire here. Words, maybe words are being expressed. Maybe there's a lot of upset in your environment right now. Uh, maybe people are just, there's, there's arguments. I feel like things are brewing or stewing. And for some, it could be you focusing your energy on being more creative. Writing, I feel writing. You could be in the mode of writing out how you feel. This could be a message. <laughs> This could definitely be a message that you're sending to a person in your past okay okay so and, and yeah it could be your past your past connection with someone that you had a good relationship with oh my oh my god libra this is beautiful this is your future this is the two of cups energy two of souls making a vow a promise a commitment to be there to stand by each other to protect to love to nurture to hold to support to guide to uplift to heal to help to transcend to motivate to inspire it's just all that beautiful like that that one that has your back beautiful energy and it's young love it's young it's fresh it's it's a divine union too and that's coming up in your future and I don't feel it's too far. You could be experiencing this with your current person in the future. Maybe you're, you're, the, t the tension is moving away from your relationship. And I feel it maybe comes when both of you, one of you, are, you know, of, or one of you decide to take that place and really meditate, meditate inside of yourself, introspect, okay? and just be somber i feel like a somber feeling in the heart i'm exploring your emotions yes even tuning into what triggers you libra 
what triggers you normally uh, so let's explore more what the past energy is okay i see earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this could be a person of your past maybe a person that you worked with maybe you had a business are you sharing business ideas with this person this was also as i mentioned a stable committed relationship indeed for both of you it was something that you were building on and it felt possible and it felt real i don't i'm not sure if this energy wants to come back in your present but and maybe it does maybe someone wants to send you a text message i don't maybe you're not responding maybe you're being very cold to this person right now cold shouldered and i feel like very aggressively cold shouldered like intentionally wanting this person to know that you're really not interested in their advances so this is how you're feeling now um so there as i said I, this is another confirmation that there's a separation in in your relationship at this point it's not it it doesn't have to be everlasting as i said it's just some time to heal because we all go through things and we have to with the two of cups energy this could also be you both of you learning how to accept one another as is a promise to to compromise to say i understand to give each other the benefit of the doubt to say i know that each person go through traumas we all have our emotional baggages we all grew up in households that sometimes ooh, sorry, households that sometimes traumatize us frighten us cause us to behave think act speak live in ways with with even our partners that's not healthy but we have to sometimes find a way to understand and support each other this is the, a card of supporting each other emotionally remember all of this energy can also be you deciding for some of you who are single and wanting to focus on healing and learning how to love yourself this is you making that vow to yourself being as if being that other person onto you that is the two of cups the four of two the two of hearts energy so there's like a soulmate energy you are aligning with your higher vibration your higher self and this i love this reading so much for you okay oh my the magician card definitely i feel definite energy transmutation here so i feel like there's this, this strife is probably moving out of your relationship you're learning how to love i feel both of you are really and i feel it's very emotionally based the energy healing that you're doing emotional learning how to breathe into that emotion i feel like there's something stronger that's wanting you that's that's causing you both to really want to do better so even for the singles right this could be you wanting better for yourself not being triggered easily magician energy transmuting energy um divine card here okay so past energy maybe you did cut someone off or someone cuts you off but i feel like you were the one that chopped libra because that's how you move you just cut someone off and are some people and you have to move forward i feel like you whoa it feels like a, a slight slingshot feeling as if you cut the cut this energy off so it, it's not necessarily a person it can be a situation that's not serving you a job anything that's holding you back like certain experiences that wanted to come along with you for example you have high school friends and they just because they're a part of your experience somehow we feel like we have to bring them in our ex in our entire life experience but that's not always so <laughs> so i feel like sometimes like this energy feels like you chopped off a certain energy that's not meant to be with you and you kind of spring forth you spring forth into becoming into aligning with the life that you're dreaming of i feel like you're really manifesting I feel like you're you're very intuitive at this time you're tapping like your energy your femininity is is coming to light and that is that beautiful nurturing energy that we need sometimes to heal to sit through our emotions so you're you're releasing and 
releasing things that's not good for you too is a way of you establishing your boundaries and standing up for yourself this does help to propel you into the life forward so we do have you really standing up for yourself here remember that's what we said at the beginning of this reading thank you remember to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like this reading so far oh my the current energy is oh you're not taking things so seriously anymore it feels like or you could be blocking a person but i feel like you're not I feel like you're probably sitting in your emotions too. Yes, that's a part of healing. So maybe you have to be, you're not really speaking right now. You just, you just want some time alone, want to have time to clear your head so that you can sit in your feelings, sit in your emotions and heal. Sometimes I feel like you don't have, have all the groundedness that you would like to have the boundaries um you know are not as firm as you want them to be and this is in your current energy so sometimes i feel like you go hot and cold hot and cold exactly this is like that hot and cold energy maybe sometimes wanting to reach out to this person and other times not really you know <laughs> i don't really care so i feel like you're very emotional you have a very passionate connection to this person I see fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. At the beginning of the reading, I did say you have a connection with an Aries. Maybe you're getting messages from this person. Maybe this is the past person that's trying to make advances. Maybe this is someone from way back in your days that's coming out, maybe saying, telling you you're looking attractive or something. And maybe that's the person that you're trying to cut out of your situation. Maybe someone's trying to come in to interrupt your situation here definitely all right so for the future oh my we have the emperor card so if you're working on your business you're working on your relationship you're definitely going to be successful this is coming out on top this is realizing that you have leadership potential it is all within you you're governing over your own life your own journey this is also another earth sign um energy that's taurus virgo capricorn could be uniting with this person this person could be watching over you this person is older than you too a very creative and determined soul this person is very has inner wisdom as well it's almost like piscean energy water sign pisces cancer scorpio as if they, they're able to tell what's going on with you within your situation okay let's see hmm. all right so for most of you you do feel good the past energy you're moving away from this by little you're looking good with the empress card here in your zone tuning into nature tapping into your intuition and we see that over here it's as if you can feel that something is coming together for you as I said, if you're working on a business, it's going to come through well for you too. Okay, final messages for Libra in love. Libra in love. Whoa. Final messages for Libra in love. Why all these cards? I'm not sure. I'm just going to look. Okay. I'm just looking because all these cards. Moving out, moving toward. Healing, something ending, brand new beginning. Working, focusing on your business. Building your businesses. Some of you want a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning overall in your life space. Who is the magician here? Leaving, going forward, trusting your heart space. The outcome. Something ending. Right? I think it's moving on. 
David, I feel ooh, to follow your heart, to work on your dreams. I feel like standing up for yourself. Standing up for yourself, wanting what's best for you, moving on. I feel like definitely you're making a commitment to, unto yourself. And it's a, there's something of desire in you. Something that you're passionate about. Maybe you're wanting a new beginning with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be coming at you. All right. And then we have the Nine of Cups and that is the Wish Fulfillment card. So definitely you're going to be successful, Libra, in your endeavors. Thank you so much for being a part of this reading. I really appreciate your presence here. Please do consider giving my video a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel for future uploads. Your support is much appreciated. All right, so remember until next time, Libra, that you can do everything that you want because all is within you, right? So you can be, do, have everything you want because all is within you. Thank you so much. Much love. Take care. Bye.